Hey everyone, we are doing the spiced oats recipe now. Have all your mise en place ready to go. This includes your gloves. Just imagine I have gloves. Uh, blender, container, lid, spatula, measuring cups, measuring spoons, and we'll need a scale for this. Uh, the easiest way to do this recipe is everything in the blender. So you would put the blender container on the scale, zero the scale, and then add the ingredients in the order that follows. Five and a half ounces of oats. Make sure you got your spatula so you can get all the oats. These oats are pre-soaked. Um, we pre-soak them and then we drain them so they have a little moisture on them. Uh, our pumpkin seeds go in here and the weight of the pumpkin seeds is a half ounce. Uh, our water is 10 ounces. Right in there. What I should have done is poured a little bit of the water in with the agave to get the agave in easier. So we make that correction. The agave likes to stick to whatever container it's in. If you add a little bit of liquid, it helps to get all of it out and into your recipe instead of stuck to your little bowl. Good, we got that in. The amount of maca is one teaspoon and the amount of pumpkin pie spice is a quarter of a teaspoon. And moringa, one teaspoon. The chia, we save. We blend this smooth, then we add the chia and blend on the lowest idle speed. We don't want to break up the chia, we just we want to mix it in evenly. So the first part, put the lid on the blender, make sure you're in the low variable setting, all the way down to one, plugged in, ready to go, on. Ramp up the speed. Okay, all the way back down to low, turn it off. If there's a need, scrape down the sides. Sometimes the whole oat groats will jump up and be stuck on the side, or maybe some of the moringa or anything like that. You wanna get it all down in there. And now we add the chia. I like to, just for safety, put the lid on the blender and lowest setting, very low. So you want to be all the way down to one, down low in the variable. Turn it on just for safety with the lid. Now the blender is running. Now you add the chia. The chia shouldn't stick to the container unless, you, unless there was some moisture on it. Now the chia is in there. You let this run for at least two minutes. The goal of running the blender like this with the chia is to hydrate the chia and to evenly disperse it throughout the oats. Uh, you do not want to run the blender any higher than this because then the chia will get broken down. It's enough time. Now transfer the oats to our container. Use your spatula to get everything out. 
one of the tricks I use to get any thing that's stuck on the blender blades off of the blades is just turn the blender on lowest and the blades will just throw off whatever that is onto the sides and then you can, you can scrape it just like with the smoothies if there's any uh, excess left over uh, we can share that with the customers for samples but this recipe is the perfect amount you want that little gap up at the top uh, when the customer checks out they can get toppings and this gives them room for us to add toppings and then put the lid on <laughs>